Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, it's a privilege to be sidekick to you, Mo. Um, you were so modest. You said you are not the leader. I'm afraid I have to admit I am the leader of my party. <laughs> <laughs> but you are the expert, really the expert, and I am not. I came back from Hong Kong a few weeks ago, um, and I met a broad range of people, from, from many of your friends to... to to people in, in government positions, to people in, in LegCo, to people in the business community, to scholars trying to, as, as good as I could, create my own image or my own picture of what's happening. And I just want to bring you five uh, impressions or reflections to add on what you, what you said, and I'm perfectly willing to discuss all of them. The first is obvious. I'm, I'm really concerned about what's happening right now in, in Hong Kong. I think more or less everything is going the wrong direction. The election result was the perhaps a single thing happening in the other direction. Otherwise, things are going the wrong direction. and has been doing that for quite some time. Since Xi Jinping took over the leadership in China, we've seen this coming for a long time. And I think that obviously the Chinese government is not planning a second kind of Tiananmen Square um, uh, invasion, so to speak. Um, but obviously they are planning to make Hong Kong a province among provinces. I think that's, that's, a, that's the ultimate goal. I met a lot of people saying explicitly or, or at least meaning we have nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose. Uh, in regards to what's happening in Hong, in Hong Kong right now. I think that's a very, is a very sad conclusion for, for, for the rest of the world to perhaps to be ha having to, to draw. My second reflection would be that um, it changes the logics uh, in the broad region right now. I mean, Hong Kong is obviously important in, in itself, and of, of for you it's, also, it's of, 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 of extreme importance. But it also has an effect on, on the broader region, an immediate effect on the Taiwan issue. Uh, I guess the Chinese government's plans were not to strengthen President Tsai's uh, chance in the upcoming election in, in Taiwan, uh, even though that seems to be the result so far. But the Chinese government's long-term plan and the, and the both sides, the Taiwanese and the Chinese, kind of version of there is one China, but with very different meanings. Uh, that is totally being challenged. Um, it's simply not credible anymore. If we have the developments in Hong Kong and that goes on, the, 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 the Taiwan issue has to be settled in another way than, than, than Chinese could wish for and could accept. And that brings me for the first time to, the to un just to underline the extreme importance of the U.S. support for, for, for Taiwan and for the security and, and future of, of, of Taiwan. It also goes beyond Taiwan. I went from Hong Kong, I went to Singapore, um, basically because if you want to discuss the geopolitical and the strategic issues, you have to do that in Hong Kong or in Singapore, you cannot obviously do it in, 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 in mainland China. Uh, and in Singapore, they are, they are concerned about what's happening in Hong Kong for Hong Kong's sake, but they are obviously as concerned for the region's sake. They already feel the pressure from mainland China on, on, on Singapore in many different uh, aspects. Uh, and the one thing they point out as the most important and most cru crucial issue is, of course, the uh, the question of the U.S. Co long-term commitments. And they were pretty explicit, most people I met. Uh, on the one hand, we hear that the U.S. is, in contrast to many other countries, at least vocal about what's, going, what's happening in, in mainland China. On the other hand, we cannot but hearing a, a, a weaker and at least a more uncertain commitment uh, for the U.S. international engagements. And a symbol for that was, of course, uh, uh, the, the non-presence of, 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 uh, of, of the president or the, or the vice president into the ASEAN meeting. I mean, I'm quite sure that you realize they shouldn't over-exaggerate things like that, but there is an uncertainty on whether the U.S. is, is uh, if the commitment is, is firm enough, and they ask us to increase the U.S.-EU 
links uh, in the region. My fourth reflection would be more, more home bias, that's on trade. Um, from the first US signals and onwards, uh, perhaps most explicitly being uh, uh, formulated in, 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 in uh, the Vice President's uh, China speech a year ago, there has been an increasing, uh, um, mm, what do you say, um, uh, impatience on, on, on the Chinese way of, of competing with European and US and Western companies. Um, unfair competition, state uh, hidden or at least very, very in, in transparent state uh, uh, resources in, in formerly private made uh, investments, uh, not having level playing fields, together with the EU screening mechanism that is now being implemented, that creates a new attitude from Western countries and Western companies in, com in, 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 real, in um, relation to, 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 Chinese, uh, to Chinese competition. And that, of course, when you combine that with the technology sector, 5G perhaps the most important one, that also goes from trade into pure security policy as well. I think this is of huge importance, extremely big importance. And, and the EU were late, Sweden was even later in, in realizing that there is a very important difference between being pro-trade, pro being against uh, um, uh, different kinds of, 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 of uh, protecting uh, domestic businesses on the one hand, and be not being naive in in, rel in relation to to uh, to the Chinese uh, investment, and fifth and and last, um, the bigger question on Chinese influence, Chinese soft power, s Chinese uh, activities in campuses on um, more or less legitimate uh, uh, interference in other countries' uh, poli domestic politics. We've seen that in Australia, for example. We have obviously a, a very clear case in, in Sweden right now, starting with the, the illegal um, uh, detention of, of Gwe Minh Hai. Uh, it's kind of ironic we this morning got the, the, the message from the Åklagarkammar, the prosecutor in, in Sweden, bringing up the, the, the court case for, for the former Swedish ambassador's activities, and I won't go into details in that, but it's a very obvious case that we have had severe problems in relation to China the last, uh, the last years, uh, and that was kind of highlighted in the uh, totally unacceptable Chinese interference in, in, in the prize ceremony uh, a few weeks ago. And once again, I stress this, we need to act jointly with the EU. That needs to, we need to have a, a very firm Swedish voice in the EU. And EU has to uh, act jointly. And the EU-US links are essential to be able to handle China and to meet China in a successful way in these matters. Thanks. <laughs>